Next Level Mindset bringing you another powerful and positive video. I'm gonna share with you five secrets of the music business that the record labels don't tell you. My own experience, things that I've done, my research. Make sure you stay with me all the way through to the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you three things every label is looking for in an artist. Extra bonus points, pro tips. You do not wanna miss this. Let's get into it. So what is the music industry hiding? What are these secrets of the music business? If you're watching this or someone who wants to know, this is just a few that stood out in my research. Let me know in the comment section what stands out most for you. So the first secret of the music business is that it's all about the money. At the end of the day, they're thinking about the money. They're not gonna tell you when they bring you into the studio, laying down those beats, bringing in that creativity, right? That's part of it. But at the end of the day, what kind of bills can they pay? So keep that in mind as you begin to advance your career, as you begin to put those things into practice, make sure that you're part of that payment. When you're thinking about your music, putting your music together, doing your thing, getting excited about your creations. One thing that has helped me is to remember that at the end of the day, it's all about the money, the secret of the labels. They're not gonna tell you that. They don't want you to know. What they're doing is just bringing in money and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with us getting paid to do what we love to do. It's all of you, remember that song, it's all about the Benjamins? That's how they're looking at it. And that's how we have to look at it and keep in mind, we might as well get paid at the same time. The second secret of the music business that record labels don't tell you is that it's best to not even need a record deal. Think about having your own business, doing your own thing. You know, it took me a while to begin to realize that all I had to do was learn the business. I started picking up different books, reading everything that I could on the music industry. I started getting into the habit of learning to watch my engineer when he began to work on the songs that we're doing. I begin to watch and take those things in, knowing that I could bring that knowledge. So the best way to get a record deal is maybe not to need one. Even when it comes to signing contracts, being a leadership in that area, we're gonna talk more about contracts in a minute. The best way to get a record deal is not to need one, to not really have to have that, that need to just go for anything that they put on the table. Learn the information that I need to learn. Develop that self-confidence and self-respect, that self-belief that I can do what needs to be done, making it in this music industry, taking it to the next level. And if you're part of the family, you already know, that's how we like to do it to get it done. We want to go to the next level. Mindset, music industry, finances, everything that we do, next level mindset. Now before we go to this next one, just want to take some time to say thank you for being a subscriber, coming back to my channel, all of my viewers, all part of the family, the cash app donations, the merchandise, everything that you do pays off. It really appreciated. If you're new here, great music, entertainment, inspiration, motivation, hit the subscribe button. Let's find these secrets out together. Join the family. So the third secret, record labels are not gonna tell you in this music business is what's really in that contract. Remember we talked about that? How many times do we really know what we're signing? And they'll make it all look real nice on the cover. Take that time, what I've learned to do in my life, take that time to read and find out that fine print. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. When was the last time we really took a look at what's in the contract? What's really in the fine print? So I wanna encourage you, the next time you're bringing your music beats to the track, think about that. We're all into our music and there's nothing wrong with that. But what I've learned in my life is to remember to take responsibility as a business mindset individual, as a leadership mindset individual, knowing what's in that contract. Remember that show Changing Lanes? He had lost the contract and he said all we have to do, remember they put it together, a nice plot. Just change the first page, put it on there and act like he signed it. You never know what they're doing behind our back. So make sure we're looking at our contract because when it comes to this music industry, they're not really gonna tell you. They're doing it for their best interest like we talked about in step number one. Remember what we talked about? All about the money. They're gonna think about how much money they can get. We need to realize our worth and you need to remember how much money can you get from what you're doing with your music business, with your industry. And the fourth secret of the music business that the record labels don't tell us is that they need you more than you think, right? They really need you more than you need them. I remember when I was coming up in New Jersey, doing my music over there, shopping my record deals. They needed me more out there on the scene. I was the one out there talking to the people, getting in front of the media. Now, now it's you. You're the one that's out there making the red carpet runs, right? They really don't want you to know. They need you more than you really need them. Think about Epic Records. Epic Records needed Michael Jackson, Donny Osborne, all those artists. They needed them more than Michael Jackson needed Epic. They don't want you to know that they really need you to get out there and make the product, to make it all come together. This is the dark truth that they don't want to tell us. The dark truth that you need to know about this music industry 
is that they really need you more than you need them. So keep that in mind. They really need you. You're worth more than you think. One of my affirmations says right here, right now, I'm increasing my self-worth. Some will say yes, others will say no. No matter what, I stay positive because I know I am worthy and God is making me even worthier still. And the fifth secret of the music business that the record labels don't want to tell you is that they really don't want to do the work. They really would rather be partying somewhere with your money, right? They would rather be somewhere sipping wine, celebrating off of your accomplishments. They really don't want to do the work. And in one way, this is a good thing because when we do our work, we'll be the ones out there on those yachts. We'll be the one celebrating in those limousines, right? We'll be the one living the next level of life. They really don't want to do the work. And at the end of the day, that works out best for you and me because as long as we do that work, putting in our industry work, recording those songs, releasing that next single. Some of you, you may be ready to release your next single. I want to encourage you, go ahead and do it. But the record industry won't tell you. They don't really want to do the work. It's up to you and me to always self-promote, be encouraged, be inspired, and be empowered. Now, before I go to those bonus points and that extra bonus power tip, on over to Spotify. Check out my brand new single, Nobody. It's streaming everywhere. Put it on your Spotify playlist. Take a copy of it. Hold with you with the Amazon links in the description. If you've enjoyed this video so far and it's given you value, do me a favor and hit that like button for the algorithm. Thank you. So this first bonus point that I want to share with you, it deals mostly with the idea of the industry itself. The sign of that contract. Remember we talked about the fine print? Always remember to read that fine print. For example, if something showed up and it was like that, right? I'm looking at that right there. I can tell that I, I'm not able to read that. Record companies and labels, they will put things in that fine print. I've seen artists sign so many things away, whether it was their copyrights on their songs, no matter what it was, simply because of not reading that fine print. So make sure you always keep in mind, we always want to know what we're signing. This next bonus point that I want to share with you, it deals with the idea of God being with us, right? God, the spirit of the universe, whatever name you want to use for God. In fact, here's what Quincy Jones had to say. He says, always have humility when you create and grace when you succeed, because it's not about you. You are a terminal for a higher power. As soon as you accept that, you can do it forever. Quincy Jones said that. So keep that in mind. It's always the spirit of God within us, giving us the power to do everything that we need to do. And one of my favorite affirmations, I am a strong, intelligent, powerful, and positive individual living a prosperous and abundant life. I have all that I need at all times. I can do anything I put my mind to. And maybe you're watching this right now and you're ready to take your music to the next level, but you're not really sure what record labels are looking for. Check this video out right here. I put this together. Three things every record label is looking for in an artist. I think that video will be great for you to watch next. So check that out. See me over there. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, and joining the family. Feel free to support the channel with the products and the merchandise with the links in the description. Stay blessed. Stay positive. I'll see you on the next level. Peace.